Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Nicole. Thanks so much for tuning in for another video. If this is your first time seeing me or not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below. And if you are subscribed, thanks so much for tuning back in for another video, Simply Squad. So guys, today's video is just a chit chat. Get ready with me. You know, it's homecoming week. I'm getting ready to go out. Let me stop. Mm. I'm getting ready to go out. It's homecoming week. I'm super excited and it's like the night time and I figured why not you know, film while I do my makeup and just chat with y'all, give y'all a life update. Basically, it's just me, it's just my thoughts, what goes on in my mind. So, I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned because you came in and threw me off. Am I distracting you? I'm sorry, Nicole. Hello. I already did my foundation and my brows because I, had, I was filming, but I was like, I hated it. So, I started over. It's homecoming week and I'm doing my makeup for a little party that's tonight. It's a Wednesday night, way back Wednesday. Super fun party. That's what I'm doing makeup for. My hair is already in a bun, so I just wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me. I have a couple things I wanna to touch on, and I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm already more than halfway done, but I just wanna sit down and chat with you guys, okay? So I titled this video, uh, Building Confidence and then Post Graduate Plans, like when I graduate from undergrad, what I wanna do. So I wanna talk about building confidence because I know that First of all, that's like something that a lot of young girls are looking up on the internet is like how to be confident. I remember looking it up when I was in high school and I also know that a lot of young girls watch my channel and I'm here for you guys and I want to help you guys, you know, be confident and love yourself and all of that. So honestly, I think building confidence is something that is like, like it's a pro process, okay? It's not like one day you're gonna just build confidence and be confident for the rest of your life. I think confidence is one of those things where it's up and down. Some some phases in life, some stages in life, you're gonna feel so confident, so great. And other times you are gonna go through something in life and it's gonna break you down. And you gotta build that confidence back up. Confidence, I don't think is one of those just like long-term permanent things. I really don't, you know? I mean, but you, you can be a confident person, but you're not gonna always be confident if that makes sense, because that's me, you know? A lot of people think I'm confident. They think, they see me on YouTube, they think, oh, she's so confident, but only if y'all knew. I be faking it sometimes. Like, when I walk around campus, I be like, when you're young, like 14, 15, 16, building confidence looks different from how it looks when you're 20, like me. Um, but for the younger people out there, what I have to say to y'all is, Oh, I'm wearing eyeshadow today. So what I have to say to you guys is, I just think now social media is so big. And I think that some of us that are on social media are too young to be on social media. The 14, like middle schoolers and high schoolers, y'all should not be on social media, but I know it's not y'all's fault because social media has blown up and so many people are making careers out of it. But I just think that's bad. Like sometimes I look at my some of my subscribers, y'all's Instagrams, and y'all are kids, y'all are young. And I appreciate y'all for supporting me. But when you're that young, looking at things on the internet constantly, it's going to get to your head. You're going to feel like, okay, this certain body type is praised. This certain race is praised. This certain lifestyle is praised, but look at me, you know, or why, you know, how I don't feel confident because I'm not, lift, I'm not being lifted up by society, basically. And that's what I really think is important is just loving yourself and loving yourself and praising yourself and understanding that you're beautiful, you're great. I'm not just saying this, you're beautiful, you're great. You're unique, there's only one you. And so it's like, don't waste your time being insecure. Don't waste your time being hard on yourself. Be the best version of you you could possibly be. And I'm still working on that myself at 20 years old. I'm still working on, you know, being at a, on a higher, um, like emotional frequency, being very aware, being very open-minded and really like, being the best version I can be and just just know that you know you guys if y'all are having if y'all are having issues or ever want to talk about something you guys know you can always DM me or email me or whatever but I'm here for y'all because I know y'all might not be able to talk to y'all parents and stuff about certain things but because I know there was certain things I want to talk about with people when I used to go through things in high school or whatever and I was like no one I could talk about because I was like embarrassed or it was like a stupid situation but trust me I know they feel like we can't figure anything out but Trust me, you guys, it definitely gets better with time, you know, with life experiences and you'll grow and you'll 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 discover yourself. You'll you'll find your purpose and you, your passions and your hobbies and you'll discover your goals and you'll be confident. You'll you'll be great. Trust me, you will be great. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, every day tell yourself you're beautiful and all that. You can. I didn't do that, but just every now and then take time to yourself, like really sit down, talk to yourself, reflect 
ask yourself how am I feeling you know it's all about just self-worth and self-care and self-love and those type of practices that will help you gain confidence now we're gonna talk about me because <laughs> I know, that's, I know that's what you guys want to know about me. Fame. The only reason I want to talk about fame, I, I'm just, the only reason I wanted to talk about fame is just that sometimes I really do, like, I don't dream about, I don't dream about being famous, but sometimes I really do sit and look at famous people and I just, I wonder so badly, like, what is it like, you know, to have such a big influence and to just have so many supporters and to be so big like I really wonder what is that like I really wonder sometimes and you know I was talking to my friends that are also trying to make it and you know we know our time is going to come and it's not so much that we were doubting ourselves but we it's not so much that we're rushing it but it's just we, we that curiosity you know and sometimes you know they say curiosity kills the cat and so what I've learned is to just be patient and to trust the process you know you guys I, I was even talking to Sebastian because y'all know how my goal is to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year if I wanted to I could literally clickbait a giveaway and do it but I said no I want to do it the right way I want to put out videos that I want to work hard put out content that I love and I want people to watch it because they love it just as much as I love making it and I, I want to get there you know I want to make it but I want to make it the right way you know and you know and that's just what's important to me you know um but yeah um and guys they had youtube black or whatever in atlanta and i was seeing all my favorite influencers in atlanta at my favorite places such as cascade skating ring they had the nerves to have my favorite youtubers at cascade skating ring and it didn't invite me and i'm sitting here thinking like okay i'm a youtuber i should have been here that like i really felt like i should have been there like i really think of myself not how i really am in the real world like in reality yeah i'm a college student everyday little girl going through life but i also see myself on i also see the other version of myself where i'm in this other dimension and i'm famous and i'm in la but i'm also very like content and like at peace like it's but see that's we're gonna get there we're gonna get there but that's all i had to say about fame i guess which is like weird i never thought i'd be talking about fame <laughs> Why am I talking about fame? Okay, Nicole, <laughs> pipe down. So next, I want to talk about traveling. Traveling is one of my favorite things to do. <sighs> I haven't been that many places. I've only been out of the country once. I've been to Africa, you know, but I want to eventually see all seven continents. I want to study abroad. I just love traveling because you guys, the United States is so whack. Like when I first went to, um, when I first went to, um, to Africa I was like South Africa I was like oh my gosh like it is so different guys like America is whack we are mean we are rude we are ungrateful we are just we're bad like we are bad um I even know one girl yeah she she moved to South Africa like you know she used to live, live in America and she moved to South Africa I want to even I want to live in like another country just for a little bit just to experience it you know um but I love traveling I love feeling all rich and luxurious and I love hotels and I love new environments I love new people I love new food I love new cultures I love new shopping experiences and just different styles like I love that kind of stuff all right so I think I'm gonna do, put on some eyeliner because I'm doing a dark lip as you can see I'm going for a lavender now don't worry I'm putting on a cute little jacket but I'm going for a lavender look and I'm doing this dark purple lip you guys dark purple lip and I can't do a dark lip with no liner like it would just look light and then dark you know you need a little add a little bit of grunge up top I'm gonna do a little bit of liner I would try and do a oh I almost dropped that on my bed I would try and do a wing but I think I'm just gonna do a straight line and put my lashes on guys my lashes are right there so let's see if I can do this and let me talk about what I'll talk about I want to talk about grad school you guys oh my gosh you know I went to a grad school session like an informational today oh my gosh I know so proactive but and it was good I learned a lot that I didn't know but the thought of going to grad school used to be so oh oh the thought of going to dread school was just I mean I said dread school <laughs> oh let me focus the thought of going to grad school you see so dreadful because i was like oh i gotta do four years of undergrad and then four years of grad school but no if i'm just gonna get a master's only about two years which is not bad you know i would prefer to kind of graduate and then go live life a little bit you know <laughs> but no because 
two years let's just get that out the way and then also i don't want to graduate and then go live life but be walking around with a bachelor's degree you know it's kind of like i want to walk around living life like with some 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 status like with some something behind me like just a bachelor's degree that's good but it's kind of like hmm nicole you need a little bit more and then you don't want to take a year or two off and then oh shoot i drew this way too long And then come back going to grad school would be like two years older than everybody, but then still look like the youngest one because I look like a kid now, you know. So. And y'all age doesn't matter in this type of stuff because people go and get, you know, postgraduate degrees at whatever ages they want. But that was just some of the thoughts I was having. Like, I'm just really like dumb. Like, oh. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. This is why I don't wear eyeliner, because look at this scrub. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to go to graduate school, you know, get my little master's. If you don't know, my major is biological sciences. Don't ever think that I wanted to be a doctor. Don't you ever in your right mind think that I was going to go to medical school. Like, that's not me. Like, I always feel like if, if I want to do something, I can definitely do it. And that's just not something I want to do. And it's just that simple. It's just that sweet. Period. I need a wipe. I need a wipe. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the lashes on. I added some dots right there. Now for the lip. I'm nervous, you guys. We're supposed to, like, it's called way back. So we're supposed to dress from, like, the 90s and stuff. But I feel like, in my heart, I feel like they wore dark colors in, in the 90s. I, I usually wear, like, a red lip to these type of parties. But we're going to go with the purple. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to talk about was my future career. Guys, my all I want to do, all, I never was one of those people that was like, oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a pediatrician. No, I never believed in that. I always believed in uh, different levels of discovery. Like, discovering, like, I always felt like without, like, I always felt like throughout life, you discover certain things about yourself, different things about yourself, you know, through different experiences. And what you want to be changes. And I kind of feel like, it doesn't make sense to ever want to be just one thing. We can always be so many things, you know, and what, you know, my goal is to just basically is just to reach millions of people. No matter what it is I'm doing, I want to reach millions of people. I want to share my story. You know, I want to have a book one day. I want to do a lot of other things that's coming soon, but I don't want to really like speak on it. But I just want to have a lot multiple streams of income i want to be inspiring and reaching millions of people and sharing my story because i have personally gone through kind of a lot kind of with my journey and staying motivated on youtube and i've shared a lot of my life with the world and i just want to basically continue doing that and i just want to thank you guys so much for being here throughout my journey you guys are like a big part of my dream all of my dream and help it come true and i just love you and appreciate you guys so much and youtube that part of my life has allowed me to discover so many things about my life that i can't even explain it's completely changed my life and i love it so much and i'm just yeah you know i want to basically kind of have like a main job but then do other things on the side just a lot of different things i might be a very busy working woman Let's do, go ahead and end with this lip. I just looked in the mirror and I actually like this. Like, my face is so small. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to take this headband off. I'm going to take this headband off, you guys. I did my bang already. I did my bang already, poo. Choo choo head. Choo. What am I singing? I don't know. I did this to lay my edges down. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. I just realized I didn't eat today. What the heck? My stomach is literally growling right now. Like, great. One, two, three. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. So, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching my chit chat. Get ready with me. Thank you so much for chatting with me and just listening to my life hope i was able to just update y'all on my life and pretty much what goes on in my head um if you're not subscribed be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up and yes uh thanks for telling me that you hope i have fun at this party you hope i have a great homecoming weekend thank you so much for those lovely wishes and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>
Okay, this is a final look. I'm already back for the night, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I already went out. So you guys, I already went out, but I wanted to show you my outfit. So I got so many compliments, you guys, on my lip color. Like, see, see, say. Um, and everyone loves this lavender, this lavender duo. Oh, I'm so glad I got this jacket. I got it from Macy's, you guys, on sale um, in the summertime. That's why it was on sale. I got it from Lennox in Atlanta. Yes, Atlanta is where everything is at, period. These jeans are from Boohoo. And these boots are new and they're from DSW. So this was my outfit, you guys. It got really hot in there. I didn't even have my jacket on, but when you add the jacket to this look, it completely changes. Like, this is like casual. Wait, if it's off, it's casual. Then this is bougie and then this is just like dressy. Either way, I basically was serving all types of looks tonight. And I had a great time, I had fun. It was like a couple girls' birthday, so we was turning up. So oh, skittle. It's late and I need to get to bed. So I love you guys and good night.